The first of International Rescue's legendary Thunderbird machines to be constructed. Thunderbird 1 is a swing-wing hypersonic rocket plane designed by the engineer known as Brains at the request of Jeff Tracy to serve as a first response vehicle and mobile command center for rescue operations across the globe. Measuring 35 meters in length with an extended wingspan of 24.3 meters, the sleek airframe of Thunderbird 1 has more in common with a spacecraft than most of its airborne contemporaries, propelled by four variable cycle gas turbine engines and four booster rockets. Thunderbird 1 is able to reach a sustained velocity of 15,000 miles per hour, allowing the craft to circumnavigate the globe in less than two hours, reaching the site of any emergency far more quickly than most conventional responders. Thunderbird 1 is equipped with an extensive range of advanced and versatile rescue equipment for use in a wide variety of circumstances and environments. These systems include a radio-controlled hovering camera drone, a retractable machine cannon for use in demolition, a magnetic grapple launcher, a deployable sonar array, and a powerful thermal imaging system. The craft also carries a deployable International Rescue Mobile Command Center used to coordinate with Thunderbird 2 and Tracy Island from the site of an emergency, as well as a small hover bike used to carry Thunderbird 1's pilot and a small amount of equipment into rescue areas that the larger craft cannot reach. Thunderbird 1 is piloted by Scott Tracy, eldest of the Tracy brothers and second in command of International Rescue. In the event that Thunderbird 1 is scrambled to respond to an emergency call, the vehicle is accessed by means of a secret hatchway in the wall of the Tracy Villa. This entrance allows Scott to reach the maintenance and refueling bay where Thunderbird 1 is stored between missions. Once Scott has boarded the craft, Thunderbird 1 is lowered through a large tunnel to a second bay located beneath the Tracy Villa's swimming pool. The pool itself retracts entirely to allow Thunderbird 1 to perform a vertical launch, reaching a substantial altitude before rotating its variable geometry cockpit to accommodate horizontal flight. During rescue operations, Thunderbird 1 is almost exclusively deployed alongside Thunderbird 2, serving as a forward scout that can assess usable landing sites for the larger craft, as well as coordinating with local emergency responders during Thunderbird 2's slower transit from Tracy Island. When in horizontal flight mode, Thunderbird 1 is able to extend its wings and take advantage of a ventral atomic thruster to hover at low altitude around the site of a rescue. This allows the craft to use its thermal imaging system to locate individuals in distress and provide continual reports on the situation to the crew of Thunderbird 2. In order to maintain the secrecy of international rescue and to prevent the schematics of any Thunderbird craft from falling into the wrong hands, Thunderbird 1 is equipped with an automatic camera detection unit that alerts Scott to the presence of any recording equipment that could be used to gather intelligence on Thunderbird 1. In the event that such surveillance is attempted, Thunderbird 1 is able to use advanced electromagnetic beam systems to remotely sabotage nearby cameras and data tape preventing any recorded information on the craft from escaping the area intact. Having been used to great effect in the grand majority of rescues carried out by the Tracy family, Thunderbird 1 has saved thousands of lives across its career with international rescue. As the first of the Thunderbirds, the craft has become a world-renowned symbol of Jeff Tracy's humanitarian vision and continues to be the first on the scene to any disaster whenever a call to international rescue is made. Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.